Arsenal Fan TV. You know, I had to run into you and ask you about the transfer situation. What, what do you reckon? Um, we've just been here at the Puma launch. We've got a strong squad at the moment, but who do you reckon we need to bring in um, over the summer just to win the title, like some of these players were saying? I don't think there are any positions that we're desperately short in. I think it's the first season in a while where there's nowhere, no one position in the 11 you have on the pitch that you look at and think, that's a real area of weakness. So I think this season's about, this This summer is about going out there and getting two or three players who really take us to the next level. And who, who would those two be for you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you like, know what, I Seriously, I've been thinking about it and... and I quite want someone who can run with the ball a bit better, someone who can take men on. But I don't think defensive midfield is an urgent position now. I like Coughlin. I think probably we do need someone a bit better. Someone mm. may be better on the ball, but every time I have doubts about him, he goes out there and puts in a better performance. Mm. I think we need probably a better goalkeeper, but again, it's, it's not essential. Mm. So... <laughs> we haven't felt like this for a while, haven't we? I mean, normally we go into the summer and we're desperate for, like, five players, but... It does seem like at the moment the team is looking like a strong unit. Just a couple of additions can get us over the line. Yeah, I think well, last summer we went out and added seven or eight players to our first mm. team squad and that, and that gave us the depth and a bit of quality that we didn't have. I think the level of player we're going after now is on another level from what we've been looking at in the past. And mm. the kind of players we were looking at before and thinking, oh, we might get him, he's a bit crap, you can rule out straight away. And the type of player we bring bringing in, you see them up there, mm actually we are attracting top players now and I don't think it's a case of filling gaps with average players mm. which does mean it's a lot harder to buy because the, the players we want aren't necessarily as easy to get if, if you want a striker for example who, who's out there who's, mm. who's noticeably a top European striker who's not a massive gamble mm. so there are players we need but I don't think it's, it's an easy job hopefully we won't have to wait until the end of August but I'm not desperate to see us go and sign three players next week which is the position we've been in every year for the first, last four or five years so that's nice. progress how's the move been for you i mean you know you, you, you i think you've had a good start on the first season a few injuries that must have irritated you especially missing the cup final I mean, you got us there i mean yeah was, how was it to watch that after <laughs> getting us there it, it wasn't easy watching it um obviously I just sat in the box um, taking a seat and it's, it's hard because you can't have an impact on the game or anything mm. like that but um it's football, you miss um, these things happen and the injury to happen at that time, um, it could have been worse. 